Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for May 20th, 2023. So the key to today is to allow yourself to hone in your passion, be aware of your deep feelings, the intense flux that you're having, the realities of being a human, and channel this energy towards actions that are healing, that are towards your ambitions, that feed your long-term drives. Now, the caveat is, is that you're going to have to be careful of not being too driven to the point that you don't have any ethics or getting caught up in power plays. The transits today have this energy of, it could be you versus them or somebody wanting you to verse them or also people who aren't ethical trying to make moves to take advantage of those who are vulnerable or more sensitive. So be aware of your boundaries. And I say this because we have the moon in Gemini and the moon in Gemini is your brothers, your sisters, your family by connection. Um, this is a house that is ruled by Mercury. So there is about communication and talking here. And so words internally or externally are going to be abundant. And we have the moon squaring Saturn, which can give a lot of tension, right? There's this, you want to just be free, right? But when Saturn is in the mix, there has to be some form of discipline. And this is Saturn and Pisces. So there's a element of being aware of who you're connected to and if they really are healthy for you or not. And then we also have an opposition to Pluto, which again will intensify the ability to have flux and emotions. So if you're just feeling really intense, that's okay. Make sure that you engage in activities that are grounding and allow you to express this in ways that are healthy. We also now have Mars that is in Leo and Mars is going to be in Leo for the next seven weeks and Mars is going to be here until July 10th and so this is a really good placement right if you use it well Mars in Leo can be a, a desire to get things done right this is a fire sign in a fire house and so when you add the planet of action to drive to defending to you know, going to war or taking action around what you want in the house of Leo, in the house of the lion, in the house of the sun, of courage and wanting to be center stage and being a leader, whoever has this energy natally or during this transit, you can really tap in to getting things done, right? But you have to make sure that the actions that you're taking are grounded in a healing way and are not reactionary. So this is a lot of fire that's available in the sky for you for the next seven weeks and use it mindfully. Use it to heal, use it to warm yourself, use it to light your dark places. It doesn't necessarily have to be an inferno. Maybe it's a controlled burn. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.